Hey, my name is James. You're watching Live to Survive. I was tagged by to do my favorite bushcraft knife. Hey everyone, welcome to Bunch Outdoors and Survival. With that being said, hold on here, I got people I'm going to tag written down. I want to tag Frugal Outdoors and Camping, CPD Survival, Haggard Outdoors, and Live to Survive. Uh, can't say I'm really much of a bushcrafter. Um, I'm more of a camper, but years ago, I guess what I did is camping, everybody now considers bushcraft. I've been camping since I was a kid. What I've used most of my life is a K-Bar. Uh, I've had this K-Bar for, I don't know, this one here might be five years or so. Um, the other one bit the dust a long time ago. Now I use the Schrade SCHF 37. The reason for that is you can't chop with a K-Bar. You can baton with it, feather sticks, carve, and anything else you want to do. My SEHF 37 usually does pretty good even on the small stuff so what it does small stuff what it doesn't do I have Memora or some other knife that I decided to take with me at the time. Finally got around to the knife tag. Not sure how good you can see that. The Schrade SCHF 37. It's my go-to knife. I've had it about two years now. Uh, done a few little modifications here and there. Made a drop leg. So it drops you know, on my leg down here instead of being up so high. Standard, it just rides too high up on the belt. It is a heavy knife but it works great. I can chop, cut, split, baton, feather. Uh, not a whole lot I can't do with it, but I do carry more with me when I go to. So, just decided to go on a walk today. Thought I'd do this while I was at it. Before this, I always used a Marine Corps edition K-Bar. I uh, loved my K-Bar. It just wasn't heavy enough. It wasn't for chopping. Uh, survival knife combat knife self-defense uh, some things I mean it was great you could baton with it still had no problem it just it wasn't a chopper so that's when I got away from it and went to the stray I've used a K bar since I was probably 14 years old or 12 years old something like that always worked great never had any troubles except for the chopping um, now with the 37 I don't have to take a hatchet most of the time or a machete it does the job all of its own. Trade SCHF 37. I've added fire cord to the lanyard. Uh, fire cord is also on the also on the fire steel. Uh, it does have the diamond sharpener with it. it. Has the fire steel. It's real small, but it works. I said the fire cord. I've added to the leg tie and to the lanyard. I added the drop leg extension. I don't guess you'd call it a dangler because it, it sits solid. That is like a chain carabiner. It's 
got the little twist latch on it. And I made that out of webbing, two inch webbing. That way it can be put on and take put on and taken off a belt without having to take the belt off. Do it from the sheath. Uh, sheath's not too bad. I did have some trouble with it when I got it. The plastic liner inside. Go to try to put the knife back in the sheath, and that plastic liner would move around and dig in behind it. So I took a little adhesive. And glued it down. Hadn't had a problem with it ever since. Uh, it's not really a well-made sheath. But had it for two years now, like I said, it hadn't had any troubles. Uh, I did strip the black coating from the blade. Um, I didn't like it. It was too aggressive as far as trying to split and baton. and It was just too much friction. So I took it off. Uh, put a forced patina on it with some vinegar. And it doesn't last too long. It's wearing off already, as you can see. I did that, I don't know, maybe three or four months ago. Um, just keep it oiled. It's real good. Um, seems to work a lot better now. It doesn't have all the friction that it had from before. It's the SCHF 37 Frontier. I bought it off of Amazon. Paid $31.46. No shipping, nothing. For the price, you can't beat it. Uh, 12 and 3 8 total length, 7 inch blade. It's got a 5 and 3 8 handle. Blade's a quarter inch thick. Now, that's a hollow grind. A lot of people don't like a hollow grind. But for the fine work and feather sticks, things like that, the hollow grind works perfect. I've yet to break the blade, haven't chipped it. I've had it for about two years. It is 1095 carbon steel. It has a TPE handle scales, which or a thermoplastic elastomer has a finger choil to choke up for the small work and the feather sticks has jimping on the top you can see that right there and the bottom of the handle to get a better grip a lot of people complain say it's too sharp rubs blisters or cuts but I didn't have any problems It is 14.50 ounces, so 1.10 more ounces than it weigh a pound. Uh, has the drop point blade, which I like. It's good round. I had any problem with the blade breaking. No problems with the tip breaking, anything like that. Uh, it does have the micro bevel at the bottom. But it's been a real good knife. Uh, it's the first tag I've ever had. It's hard to me so long to get to it. I said it was by Budget Bushcrafter and Survival. I'll leave his link below. Um, go check him out. He does. He's doing real good. Uh, and I'm going to tag, let's see, Fred Outdoors' Noakes. Hope I pronounced that right. Bushwhacker Man. And Carolina Chris Outdoors. Uh, show me your favorite bushcraft knife. If not your favorite bushcraft knife, then your favorite knife. Or the one you use the most. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, leave a comment.